Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Will the world central bank digital currency be based on the XRP ledger? There has been so much talk about this over the years. Years, not months or days, years. Years of people talking, speculating, discussing, just in general, like there's been so much talk about this. Yet, despite all of all of the talks that have been going on and all the rumors, we're yet to see anything happen. And so the general public, not serpents, I know, I know you can see beyond what is currently being said, or what you can currently see right now. The general public thinks BS, this is never going to happen. This isn't a thing. This is just a myth, a story that the XRP community has told each other as to justify why they're still holding this coin, this S coin, which is more precisely how they say it. Now, Ripple has been exploring the CBDC space following the launch of its CBDC private ledger last year. But it's been a long, it's been, this has been in the making a long time. Now, the blockchain firm is also a supporting partner of Europe's Think Digital Euro Association. Not to mention its partnership with London, with partnership with the UK, and all over the world. Japan, Middle East. So Ripple would likely share various good news regarding its central bank digital currency initiatives, according to insights provided by Anthony Welfare, Ripple's CBDC advisor. What we as serpents have known for a very long time, the rest of the world is now going to be catching up on the fact that this is, out of all the blockchains, all the platforms out there, this is the one. If there is going to be a one world currency that assists all the other CBDCs in the background, this is it. It's Ripple. It's XRP. Now, Ripple has several pilots in progress for CBDCs, including the Royal Monetary Authority and the Bhutan and the Republic of Palu, which we spoke about yesterday. And if you haven't seen yesterday's episode, do go check it out. What the world is only now, in September 2022, going to start to find out when it comes to Ripple, the XRP community has known for years. We've been patient, we've waited, and that patience will be rewarded. And it's not a financial advisor, not a financial advisor, but that patience is coming and it's going to be rewarded. Now, Ripple's major partner in Latin America launches crypto remittance between Mexico and Canada. I would say lately it's been, what, like once a week or once every two weeks max that I'm talking about a new partner, new corridors, new remittance, new connections between countries. It's not going to take too long until every single country is connected to some degree through some type of partnership that Ripple already has. Now, the most common thing that happens when I mention a news like this is, well, how come the price isn't moving, Serpent? And that's a very good question. It's an excellent question. Why isn't the price moving? Well, just because a partnership is created, it doesn't mean that it's already taken place. It's active. So the partnership gets created, and then there's a long process before the corridor gets turned on. So just be mindful that what I'm mentioning right now Long term, excellent. Short term, you're not going to see a price change. If anything, the price is going to go down before we go up. So just be mindful of what your perceived way of getting this news is, right? The news is positive. It's very positive. The future looks bright. But in the not too distant future, as in the next 24, 48, 80 hours, even 30 days, nothing's going to change because of this particular news in terms of the price. Long term, yes, it has a huge impact on the price. Huge, huge impact. Now, it's always fascinating to look at different articles and the way that they you know, put their headlines, right? Will it ever reach 99 cents? I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, how do, they, how do these people come up with this stuff? And you look, at the, you look at these articles and, you know, someone may, you know, look at the article and be like, whoa, 99 cents? What do you mean? Like, you know? So it's very, very contradicting what happens on these news articles. That's why it's always really important to triple check what is it exactly that that article is talking about. Now, same with FX Street. 
daily their their titles change and they change very rapidly so you know xrp prosperity xrp doomsday in the making part two it's um it's really fascinating like you know the, the way that they write their articles because tomorrow they can put out an article going oh xrp comeback but it's like hang on a minute yesterday you mentioned this now within a couple of hours you've already flipped the story so be very very mindful as you are researching about crypto that Remember that the news websites are paid by the media and the media have a narrative that they want you to follow, essentially. Now, this particular article does talk about, you know, the fact that the price has lost some support levels and especially on some of the moving averages. And, but these are things that we've seen from a while ago. I have mentioned that 25 cents is still possible, still achievable and could, could happen, right? And again, it's not financial advisor, and I'm not a financial advisor, but the way that I'm interpreting the charts at the moment, and the way you know, even, you know, lots some seasoned veterans are interpreting the charts, it looks, it looks like it can definitely go down that path. Now, XRP to USD forecast, can Ripple price finally reserve, reverse long-term downward trends? See what I mean? You got one guy going, you know, doomsday, and then you got someone going, oh, but can it reverse the long-term downtrend? Very contradicting information. Now, institutional investors are betting on Solana, XRP, and other while shortening BTC. This isn't necessarily new information. I mean, again, they're starting to accumulate more of those and shortening Bitcoin. And we're going to see institutional investors take a calculated risk on XRP. That we are. They've already spoken about how they see the potential and go, well, you know what? I look at the odds and this now starts to be a good bet. Essentially, that's what that's what they're doing, right? I mean, they're calculating the risk and going, you know, what well, this actually, you know, risk to reward ratio looks really good. Now, XRP has flipped Cardano again, claiming seventh spot. But really, guys, I don't, I'm not here to talk about seventh spot. I'm not here to talk about even third spot, right? I mean, there's a much bigger storyline here at play and that's why it's featured on this on this channel as often as it is because when everything aligns and it all starts to take off it's literally going to melt faces now i do have a video that i want you guys to see pay attention to it quality of it not so good but the content itself very good i want you to listen to this especially for the mindset that the company has internally on how big they see their vision ordinary company we are not here to make a, have a small market share or do x do y and make small amount of money or something to happen we are here to make a dent in the universe either we will change the remittance un, universe the way you understand the way value gets transferred across the world between people between institutions or we will just fade away so it's almost zero or one and well i think we are moving into a new world order but i think then where the digital assets fit in like things like XRP and Bitcoin or Ethereum, they're kind of in that mid-range. They become, I think, like the Singapore dollar or the Swiss, Swiss franc, and they become useful in, you know, kind of lubricating the, the, the world to make it easier for those big four to get in the hands of people all around the world. Audience, what is Interledger's total addressable market size? All the money. <laughs> when XRP was created, this actually was created before Ripple existed, the creators of XRP decided there'd be 100 billion units because they saw it as a, you know, rather than having a smaller number with a very high price, they saw it as something they wanted to be a, effectively a global reserve currency. Ten years out on the financial crisis, we still don't have the infrastructure perhaps to prevent the next one. And I think this is where digital assets can really help because an efficient digital asset uh, can really solve um, some of the key problems in global liquidity. You know, the world's got trillions and trillions of dollars tied up in liquidity just to get around how clunky the movement of value is around the world. If with a really efficient digital asset, something like XR XRP, and that's what we believe will be the, the, the most efficient, um, you can now reduce trillions and trillions of capital from being tied up. So you can make those transfers instantly as a bank or as a payment provider, as an enterprise, without having to have money pre-positioned all over the world. Uh, because I've always believed from the minute I read the consensus, the white paper on the consensus mechanism for XRP, I believed it had the, the capability of changing the world. Well, there you go. 
a very short two minute snippet into just where the mindset is of the leaders, the visionaries of where this thing is going. And it's going places that, uh, like, I, like I mentioned uh, over the last week, right? No one's prepared for what's coming. Nobody, nobody is prepared. So as we do look towards the price action at the moment in the short term, because again, what we're talking about is big picture, long-term vision. Short term, we could we can see 25 cents coming through. Like uh, I've mentioned it before, and I do believe that that is something that is still very, very much at play at the moment. And we would be moving sideways for a little bit until we skyrocket into, into the stratosphere. Now, if you look at it from this way, this particular pattern, right? I am looking at this, right? Because we could potentially be seeing I uplift to, towards the 50 cents before we do come back down. But I do believe at the moment, this is not at play. I believe we will be going down towards 25 and then we start to go up. This is probably the most accurate from, um, from a chart action point of view. And that's why the 25 cents theory comes from. But, why, but when everything takes off, we will literally melt faces. If you did enjoy today's video, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. As always, thank you. Look forward to see you on the next one.